on to ArcGIS Business Analyst 9.3.1 functionality, uh, our upcoming release. I talk about two or three different things today that will help make your life a little bit easier that we put into the product. So the first one of those is uh, Microsoft Virtual Search, or Virtual Earth Search, which is now, I guess, now called Bing. So you can go in, you can search POIs very quickly and add them to the map as a feature class. Very cool. Uh, the other thing is the improved cartography that we've added. And so we've had nice new MXD that we've you can use at your le at your leisure, or you can add in very quickly and easily toggle back before back and forth between ArcGIS online layers like show me the imagery or show me a street map or uh, shader relief or any other services. So uh, I've got uh, ArcGIS 9.3.1 installed here and open. Uh, it includes our 2009 data sets. And what I'm going to show you first is the toolbar here and how we've integrated Microsoft Virtual Earth or Bing into it and see how that could be beneficial to you. So what this does here, uh, you, you see you've got a tool, the business analyst toolbar, we've added the this little section here that you can just type in a search just like you would in uh, Bing or Google or anything what you're used to do. And let's say I'm in the Seattle area here and I want to search for, uh, I'll do coffee, let's do pizza places. So if I'm looking for pizza places, uh, I'm in the franchising industry, that's my uh, specialty, so I want to go in and I want to see competitors in the area. So, I've done that, I've searched for it, it's popped up this little filter wizard here that I can come in and say, well, if I'm looking for specific types of pizza, aha, Little Caesars, that's what I want to add in. I can come in and say, select these guys, click next, and then add in my Little C's pizza locations. Click finish, and it's going to add it right to the map. So I've got uh, two different, or actually three different locations that were added. They are a nice little ArcGIS feature class that's added, maybe a geodatabase or shapefile or something. But this is a really good way to add value to the add business listings database that we add as part of business analysts that comes over 11, 12 million businesses at your disposal. Uh, but if you just want to go in and say, uh, maybe spot check an address or load in uh, you know, all the Walmarts uh, in an area if you're in that industry, then that's a very simple, easy way to do that. Another thing that we've added is what I was talking about is the, uh, the maps or the cartography. So we've simplified the look and feel of, of business analysts. So we have one MXD now and it's a faster, faster drawing, better looking map so you can make nicer, prettier maps, presentation quality maps in your reports. Um, if I'm kind of zooming all the way in here, you can see that the, the look and the feel is just bounds better than the 9.3 version. So it's something that we're pretty proud of. It's uh, much faster. You can check out the statistics of how much faster at each layer uh, in the What's New document. But another thing that we've added here is what we call maps, or uh, it's really just an easy link to the ArcGIS Online layers that are out there on the web right now. Uh, but you can do that right now. You can go in and say, okay, file, and then you go to add data from ArcGIS Online, and then it takes you out to this web page. And then once you're at this web page, you can kind of scroll in and say, okay, I want to click the world imagery or the street map. Well, basically, or essentially, that's what it does, except it's kind of right in your face. And it's, you know, uh, nice and easy, just highly exposed to say, hey, okay, I want to come in here and I want to see a world street map. So we've added a, a list of default layers in here to add in to enhance your map. And if I turn off my vector layers, you can see that I've got my street map in here. So, you know, very cool. Now if I want to toggle that off and I want to add in a world imagery, our JS on layer, online layer, well, then it's going to go out, hit that, as long as you're connected to the internet, it's going to add in imagery from ArcGIS Online, just right into your map. Then you can do this, um, you can go out and say you know, more from ArcGIS Online. You can pick your favorite layers out there, or any layer, and you can have them from this map, or from this toolbar uh, menu, every time that you open up Business Analyst. So here, we just say go out, hit the ArcGIS Online content, and as long as you save it in your my output data, 
then you've got that layer every single time at your disposal. You just don't have to um, use the ones that we provide. But those are pretty much the, the ones out there that are kind of everybody expects if you go to Google or Yahoo and you're checking out the map websites. So again, um, we've got better maps, better cartography, better access to ArcGIS online services and different map services. And we also got this um, great little tool that we've embedded from uh, Microsoft to the Microsoft Virtual Earth Bing uh, search. So here, let's search for Starbucks because we're in Seattle. Click enter. It's really this simple. It just goes out there, it searches the web, and then up to 250 locations, it's going to pull back that information. Um, and just add it right into your map. So there it is. It's found, of course, 250 Starbucks because there's quite a few in Seattle. Um, all these fun search features. Click next, call it Starbucks. It's added into the map. And let me make these guys this color, turn off my world imagery, turn back on my map layers. So those are all like Starbucks, and then if I open up the attribute table, this is another thing that uh, I guess I didn't touch on earlier, but we can see that it also, other than an address, it pulls in and shows a lat long. It's going to show what category of type of business it's in, and if you scroll down a little bit further, it's going to show you the type of neighborhood it's in, and also any user ratings, phone number, and then if there's a website to it, it appends it to it. So we're just hitting that uh, virtual Earth Bing API, bringing it back in, and it's saved right to your uh, right to your archive. So just to recap, better maps, uh, better access to better maps, and the new virtual Earth search 9.3.1 business analysis.